Hey guys, what's going on? Sean Kumar here, the Minister of Everything. Today I'm going to show you how to change the autofocus mode and still be able to do vlogging with these alternative autofocus modes that's not eye and face detection. Stay tuned. When you turn the camera on like this and put the camera in movie mode and extend the lens and flip out the flippy screen and point it towards you, the camera automatically reverts to the face and eye detection autofocus mode in preparation for your vlogging needs. This allows you to go ahead and vlog all day while your face and eye are always in focus and the camera does a very good job of keeping both of them in focus, especially in good light and in shadows. In the low light conditions, however, like in your basement lighting or inside a building, a poorly lit lobby, the camera has a very difficult time keeping your face in focus and often focus hunts. If you haven't seen my video on the autofocus capability in good and bad light, please check it out. Link in the description down below. So before we move further with this experiment, I want to let you know that the camera update when I did this uh, experiment is 1.2 and the lens firmware update is also to 1.2 as of July 2021. So I wanted a way to improve the autofocus, especially in low light, as well as other considerations uh, for different scenarios that I might be in where the eye and autofocus detection may not be the best option to use in those scenarios. And the idea here is to not have focus hunting. So I hit a wall when I tried to come up with a solution in vlogging mode. And the reason for that is the minute you open the flippy screen, the camera automatically reverts to the eye and face detection mode. Now this is there to help you so that you could vlog immediately. Now the only reason you'd open a screen and flip it towards you is to vlog. So the camera knows this. You wouldn't just open it and flip it over to review stuff because it doesn't make sense because the buttons are on the other side of the camera. So in order to vlog, the camera automatically assumes your eye and face are going to be the subject of your vlog. So um, as you're walking and talking, it does a very good job of sort of keeping that in focus, but it sort of backfires in low light. So the reason for me to look for an alternative autofocus mode was to see if one of the other autofocus modes would help. And this is when I hit a wall. The minute you open the screen out, you cannot change uh, the autofocus mode especially when the screen is flipped out towards you, the camera automatically reverts to eye and face detection. So I needed to come up with an alternative way to basically change the autofocus mode while I'm going to vlog in that particular autofocus mode. I came up with a solution. Some of you are gonna like it. Some of you are gonna love it. Some of you are absolutely gonna hate it. Okay, so the key to accessing one of the other autofocus modes is to push this button to the left of the menu slash set button and it looks like the screen but it's the autofocus selection so you can see there's several autofocus modes here the one area custom where you can actually specify the area uh, to focus on and i'll show you how to do this in part two of this video um, there's the 49 area which covers the entire screen there's tracking so you can select the subject you want to track and of course the eye uh, the face and eye detection autofocus mode which is is native um, to the uh, vlogging mode. So as soon as you open the screen, it reverts to that no matter what your autofocus is in prior to that. So in order to be able to use one of the other autofocus modes while vlogging, what you have to do is choose one of the other modes first. So let's do tracking. Once you choose tracking, um, you can flip out the screen and start recording in vlogging mode if you wanna use tracking. What you actually have to do is hit the record button on the top here or on your selfie stick that's an additional accessory that you could buy with this once you hit record you can flip the screen out and then point it at yourself and specify where you want the camera to focus in this case i chose my eye and therefore the camera will be tracking that particular eye um, now the key here is to get recording started before you flip the screen out because if you open the screen um, and then hit record, it'll go into your uh, native autofocus mode, which is the face and eye detection autofocus mode. So the key is to hit record either on your stick or on the camera, then flip the screen out. Now, when you stop recording, um, you have to hit the button again. I just hit the screen. It didn't happen because it doesn't assume it's in vlogging mode per se. So you got to hit the, either the record button on your stick or on the camera itself like I just did now. Flip the screen back. And when you're ready to vlog again, you're going to have to hit record and then flip the screen out. Otherwise, it'll revert to 
eye and face detection again, and you have to specify where you want the focus. This is one good workaround that I found for this mode. There are other modes on the camera of which I'm going to go through in the next video and show you which one is the best for uh, low light situations. But this is a, a simple workaround that you could do in order to overcome the, the limitation of not being able to use other autofocus recording modes while in vlogging. So the other thing you could do if you find this to be very annoying is that let's say you find a mode that is superior to eye and face detection in vlogging mode in low light or whatever condition you're in, um, and you find it to be superior to the eye and face detection. So you don't even have to open the screen up. Once you're comfortable with that autofocus mode being better than eye and face detection, and you're comfortable with the camera, you know where to look and you know what your composition is going to look like and stuff like that, you can just hit the record button and you can hear the sound and just vlog like this all day. Now, it's a bit of a leap of faith to vlog like this, but the truth of the matter is, is that if you're trusting this autofocus to be superior to what you're used to with the eye and face detection in whatever condition you're in, you're in say low light, for example, then you, you shouldn't have to worry about not being in focus. The camera will definitely lock onto you. So that's a different workaround. Like I said, some of you are going to like it, some of you are going to love it, some of you are going to absolutely hate it, but it's a good workaround. Um, now, in the next episode, I'm going to go over all the different autofocus modes I showed you and which one's the best, particularly for low light. And uh, that'll be the subject of the next video. So with that, I'm going to bring this video to an end. Now, if you like what you saw, please like and subscribe and share this video and comment on it um, if you like it. Um, if you have any suggestions for me, please leave that in the comment below as well. And I will see you all next time.